Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here, comrades. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokolover, and this is a terrible accent. Um, yeah, let's continue playing as the Russian SFSR, and basically do whatever we feel like as the greatest communist, communist nation in the world. So right now, Leon Trotsky, he's known for permanent revolution, but as you can tell, the Justify War Goals times on other nations is still increased by 15%, with the focus eventually, though, we can get it down a little bit lower, I believe. Gun in every hand. State of perpetual warfare. Justify war goal times minus 80%, which is great. But, so basically, I was looking at the comments, and someone said take a look at Sir Strategy's guide, or, you know, what he did to have permanent revolution, to create a Warsaw Pact, and stuff like that, and take lands and puppets. That's kind of what I'm going to do. For the most part, this is going to be a pretty normal World War II two scenario of course with Leon Trotsky instead of Stalin and as well as the Russian SFSR with all its states besides the USSR but throughout this campaign I'm going to refer to it as a union of socialist Soviet socialist republics anyways but but I will be taking puppets I will be taking some land and I will try to go to war before World War II really breaks out uh, with at least one nation probably it's either Finland or Iran that I want to take the world out. I will probably paint the entire world red by the time I'm done with this. So, we'll see what happens. Actually, how much does it cost to boost party, popula party popularity? 10 a day. We only get 0.24. That's really not a lot. I would love to do more. But really, I guess our first goal would be take out an enemy nation. Either Iran or Finland. I'm thinking about Iran first just because they have more oil. And if we have more oil, that means more people will want to use our oil. Which means... Iran would get more factories that we could take. So I think that would be pretty good overall if we could do that. Oh, nice. A little more political power, mobilization speed, recovery rate, stability. Great. Oh, actually, let's pause it. Can I get some more stability? We already have Molotov, which is good. Military staff. Who do I have for military staff? Well, Timoshenko is gone. Uh, all we can do right now is Old Guard, which actually is not bad if you just want more political power, but we're going to wait on that. I do want to go with War Economy. Mm, improved working conditions could be really good as well for more stability. I want that. But War Economy is just so important. But, before we do anything else, let's make sure we actually go to war with somebody before the world tension is too high and the UK and France begin to guarantee literally everyone. Hmm. So, if we were to do that, Republic of Finland... Honestly, in this playthrough, it's going to be mostly historical, but I do want to eventually annex the Republic of Finland into our communist bloc. They will be a puppet first before I annex them, but they will definitely be a puppet first, and we hopefully will get the Winter War as kind of a focus. Then again, I am doing World Revolution, so we're not going to go down anti-fascist diplomacy because... Oh no, we will do anti-fascist diplomacy. We're not going to be able to do anti-capitalist Diplomacy. So we can still do this, which is great. Hmm. 35 days. That's not bad. Permanent revolution. I really, really want to do. I, mean, I do get more political power after we do this. But man, I w really want that extra research slot. And better research rate. But permanent revolution. Ah, go ahead and do that. We get more political power anyways. Oof. And since... Anyways, we're going to go to war eventually with the Finns, I think. Wait. Baltic security, so that's probably that'll help start that. Yeah, and Baltic security. That should be okay if I wait to go to war with the Finns. So we'll probably go to war with Iran. And actually, we have. Oh, we can still modify the government because the costs aren't too bad yet. Uh, democratic neutrality, fascist. Ooh. Nikita Khrushchev, not purged by Trotsky. Oh, whoops. So, oh. Oh, yeah, more stability would be nice. Let's go ahead and justify on Iran. I want that oil. So that they had to... So, enemies of the revolution will have to buy revolutionary oil. That'll be kind of interesting to think about. Anyways, we're going to do that. Begin with that. And you know what? Go ahead and improve worker conditions. Because nothing else here will really help us out that much. I want more stability. Cool. And we're still building up some more civilian factories, which is good. Not a lot. We only have 101. we got to keep an eye on, like I said last time... Oh, Argentina seeks... God dang it, what did I click on? I'm just trying to drag this over. Why? Uh, well, hopefully we did help him. I'm not sure what happened, but... 
Oh well, I guess it's a little too late. Oh, more, uh, more railway slowdowns. That's depressing, man. Ooh, 12% communist. Oh, so I did give him advisors or something. Whoops. Um, yeah, you can have as much mass assault doctrine. I'm going down superior firepower, so we'll see what happens. I originally did this when I played with my friend mass assault, and I got pushed back a little bit, not a bunch. So I'm going to try out superior firepower so I can inflict a ton of casualties on the German Empire when we go to war with them eventually, or the German Reich. Anyways, more s railway slowdowns. Goss plan, which I was told is that, that's how you pronounce it or something like that, is reporting that railway slowdowns are still preventing production quotas and deliveries from being filled in a timely manner, leading to a slowdown in production across the bro across the broad. I love rods. Also, that these slowdowns are only getting worse. The current railway system can't keep up with the current size of our industry and the tonnage needed to be shipped through it. Gosplan recommended improving it as soon as possible, and I've been told that Gosplan is actually just means state planning, I think, so. Uh, I don't want to lose political power right now, and this hurts the construction speed and factory output, so I'm just going to let it just die off itself, so. Because right now, uh, our next civilian factory will be done on December 14th, so. And I don't want to lose any more political power, we only get 0.52 a day, so. Uh, very good, coffee. Kind of, kind of lukewarm at this point. Oh well. Ah, very good, very, very good. Let's see your guns. Thirty-two thousand out. About five hundred artillery pieces out. That's fine for now. It's gonna be quite a while until we go to war with Iran. And by before we go to war with them, I'm sure Spain will have some internal troubles, a couple of eternal squabbles, and negative two political power. Whatever. Also, uh, how to say a couple things? Someone left in the comments like Gos Plan, and there was a guy named Clement. Clement, Clement. I like saying Clement. Ooh, permanent revolution, very nice. I don't think I have them, actually. Uh, oh, is this? Um, I can't select anything here. Okay, well, I guess this law and government minister is forever forbidden. Okay, then. And Molotov. Where was Clement? Clem Clement. I think it's Clement. Anyways, permanent revolution is done. Great, I love it. We could do world revolution or anti-capitalist. Oh wait, we can't do. Oh, oh yeah, we can't do anti-fascist diplomacy because we didn't do socialism in one country. So basically, I'm going to play as historical as I can. We're still going to go to war with Finland eventually, so no worries about that. World revolution, more world tension. I don't want to do world revolution yet. It only takes 35 days, but I don't want world tension to go up too high before. I go to war, so I really don't think that's good for us. Uh, initial reforms to get more political power, stability, stuff like that. Solidify control, basically the same thing. Get more political power. Take 70 days each. And uh, but I think I think education initiative will still be pretty good to do since we get another research slot. And we get rid of the debuff of low literacy rate, which hurts a production efficiency gap as well as research speed. So. So if I, I apologize ahead of time if this isn't to your liking that I'm playing the Soviet Union fairly historically minus the fact that we have Trotsky. I didn't know that Spain still owned Morocco. I guess I need to brush up on my history lessons. And we have mechanical computing done. Hmm, dispersed industry, very good. Director fight. Oh, so they nerfed a little bit the negative buff, or I guess just debuff, to reliability when you use more fire control systems. Because it used to be a minus 10%, now it's only minus 5%. You know, I really don't like less reliability, man. Hmm, very good, very good, tasty. Uh, coffee's done. Let's see, it's 1936 still. Uh, reinforced rate sounds like a pretty good idea for us, but is there anything else before we get engaged into a war? Uh, yeah, we'll do that first, why not? Oh, no, never mind. Radio, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Cool, very cool. Ah, uh, there was something else I was going to add. Also, I, I'm on the Hoi4 subreddit a lot. I don't have an account on Reddit, but uh, I did realize, or I did, you know, I like to view what other people have to say. And apparently, since 1.6.2, submarines, you really probably shouldn't put snorkels on them because they got pretty nerfed, apparently. It says dramatically reduce their visibility, but not really. It's just better to put radar on your subs instead of snorkels, especially if you have enough of them. So, something to keep in mind if you didn't know that at the current moment. Uh, 
Chinese Soviet Republic. Oh, look at that hair. Oh, prepare for war. You're fighting these guys. What's your man? That's not bad manpower. Outbreaks worsen. Without action, it seems the outbreaks that are affecting our great country seem to only worsen with time. Almost every major urban center is affected, and the effects on our economy are immeasurable. Yeah, I think after the current focus, I'm going to have to switch over to... To get rid of that. Incompetent naval industry. Leon Trotsky brings a revolution to Iran. Uh, I, even though this is pretty normal, I'm just going to read it anyways. Uh, while we have consolidated the socialist country in Russian SF... SR, many nations still suffer under the despots of old. The workers of Iran have no voice, no means to organize, and any attempts to institute socialism will be crushed savagely by the Reza Shah Pahlavi regime. We cannot wait for the gears of the international revolution to turn. Cool. The slowdown's done. For, to turn for the Iranian people. With the revolution, we have proven that we can crush the capitalist oppressors here, and we will crush the oppressors in Tehran as well. Leon Taraski has abandoned something. Okay, so... Probably abandoned any hope for peace, and in which we must take drastic action. Awesome, and I did want to go with heavy tanks this time, too. Ooh, that'll be fun. Uh, cool, superior firepower. Um, it's 1936. It's almost 1937. Organization is actually pretty good for your infantry, since it's already been hit a little bit. I do, I definitely need to make some heavy fighters, but let's go ahead and get some more construction done, because we're going to need it. Buff that up as much as you can. Do that, but of course do this one instead. 0.87 political power day. That's not bad. So we're going to get better research rate. Get another research slot. Increase duration of revolutionized industry. Which kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, there it is. Factory output. That's kind of okay. I mean, that's, it's a debuff, but it's not one of the worst I've ever seen in the game. I just got an email from my... Okay, tax filing service. Okay, whatever. And yeah, our, we're actually accruing quite a bit of naval XP, which is really great. Really, really great. Happy 1937, friends, anyways. I love 1937, but I love 1938 more. Why? I don't know. I just made that up. Just probably because we get more into the action and see things happen. I'm somewhat surprised that the Spanish Civil War has not fired yet. We have Education Initiative. And right now, I think we got to do mass immunizations just because we get a research bonus for field hospitals. And we remove widespread outbreaks, which is actually hurting our monthly population, division recovery rate, and factory output. And that's not cool. Yeah, I definitely want War Economy next. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Uh, 1937. Get some more dispersed industry, and then we'll do pr production efficiency cap. How many more days until we can go to war with Iran? God dang it. How many slow railways? We're halfway done with our justification towards Iran. Gosplan is reporting that railway slowdowns are still preventing production quotas and deliveries from being fulfilled in a timely manner, leading to a slowdown in production across the board. Also, that these slowdowns are only getting worse. The current railway system can't keep up with the current size of our industry and the tonnage needed to be shipped through it. Gosplan recommended improving it as soon as possible again. So basically, it's only going to get worse until I actually do something about it, which means... I really can't do very much else. I mean, I'd love to do world revolution and stuff like that, and initial reforms, and solidify internal control, which I will do eventually. Ooh, more political power sounds like a great idea. But we got to improve the railways, at least by a little bit. Oh, we get better infrastructure construction speed for both these. So, superior firepower is thankfully done. So we get more soft attack, and we get more infantry or leg division. Uh, organization. Yeah, that's a word. Hmm. Looks like it's raining in my where I live right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Artillery's doing better. What is our standard division? Uh, not great. Not great. Uh, let's take the Asian... Oh. No, you guys aren't Asian. Actually. Do that. Our Asian divisions, well, they actually might be Asians for all that we know, but, um, unyielding defender, sure, why not? Uh, go ahead and train. Leon Trotsky angered by Iranian posturing, those native citizens of Russian SFSR who imagine that Iranian as a people of peace are entirely out of touch with reality. Those who live at our border do not have the luxury of such delusions, seeing their soldiers closing in on us just across the border. Uh, there is a threat we cannot leave unanswered. With every passing day, Iran is preparing for war. It would be madness for us not for us to not do the same. The Iranian military presence closer to our territory has sparked increased concern. Okay, then. How much uh, army XP do we get a day? 0.015. That's almost nothing. Well, it's better to do it now than later, I guess. 
Cool, we got a couple tank divisions, which we will be shifting over to heavy tank divisions. Actually, we should probably be doing that right now. Since it's going to take forever to make more tanks anyways. That'll be fine. No template, that's fine. We got radio, it's 1937. We got better guns to defend ourselves with. Let's get some radar, because I love, love, love radar so much. Radar is, I think, underrated in my opinion, but whatever. Hmm. We could go with probably super heavy tank destroyers or artillery, but whatever. Uh, artillery, we might as well do artillery now. For this, Hitler visits Rome. Oh boy. Ideological Crusader? Eh. Captain of Industry would probably be good for us since we're going to build a crap ton of civilian factories when we're done here. But come on, let's get mass immunizations. And you know what? Let's go ahead and deploy these guys to the border. We're we'll going to only put 12 on this side. And this will give us some nice needed army XP anyways. Oh, uh, you got quite a few mountaineers in there. Cool. Oh, there we go. Mass immunizations. Love it. Finally, thank God. We can't do progress cult, which will give us another research slot and more research speed. Holy cow. Oh, man. I really, really, really want more of different things. I, I want to do so many things here. I want to do initial reforms, solidify internal control, but I know that our infrastructure needs help. Oh, let's do at least one of those things first. Social warfare, opposition officers purged. Oh, well. Internal chaos, which sucks. Construction industry slowdown. I, yeah, I really don't want this, these industry slowdowns. They, they eat stuff, eat up a lot of things. Italy joined the Axis. Go figure. Yeah, when I'm done here, we're going to have one hell of a Warsaw Pact. We might not call it Warsaw. We might call it the Bucharest Pact or something. Or maybe the Prague Pact. This almost sounds like Frog. Budapest Pact. Ooh, the Budapest Pact. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's see how far the Germans try to push me in. Into my own country, that is. Hmm. The Chinese Soviet Republic declared war on the Shanxi. Well, good luck, guys. And you guys are down here as well. How many divisions does Iran actually have? And we are now 11 days away from going to war. Let's see. Ooh, no longer get the effects of industry slowdown. They're really hurt bad by Anglo-Iranian oil company. Four more days. Great. Improved Western Rail Net. Works. Love it. Euro regions. Euro regions. Uh, mobilization speed. We did one. I think one's good enough for now. Really want to do World Revolution, but... I'm going to do solidify internal controls. More political power and stuff like that and stability. That sounds good to me. And yes, this song that's currently playing, I don't know if you can hear it or not. It's so old. I think it's from Hoi 4? No, obviously Hoi 4, but Hoi 2 maybe? God, I remember playing Hoi 2. That was a long time ago. I played so much of Darkest Hour Hearts of Iron Game. That was one of my favorite games ever made. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. I don't think we have really have any planes to be used. I don't have any heavy fighters. Uh, we got some heavy bombers. Interwar fighters? Can you do anything? Oh, wait, you're... You can do close air support? Ground attack. Oh, they can do some ground attack. Oh, yeah, don't do ground attack. That's kind of crazy. And now we can go to war with them. You know, if we have time, I will go to war with the Finns as well. 135 days. That's not bad. If I do Estonia next, or... Yeah, it's Estonia. Oh, wow, 290 days. It's just better to wait. They're not guaranteed by anybody. Um, how are those 100 planes that we have for us? Um, just come down here first. Put you back on here. Cool. Iran. Oh, let's have a good time with the Iranians. Uh, we don't need to call our allies in. So they have I Anglo-Iranian oil company. So you get, that really does hurt them. They have a corrupt bureaucracy and judiciary, which really hurts them. They have educational reforms and then urban planning. They got a little bit of manpower, and they have up to seven divisions. Something tells me, even though we may not be great, that's still not bad. Cool, you guys can join. I don't really care. Yay, 12 army XP, and the Hindenburg disaster has occurred. Oh, the humanity. Actually, war propaganda against them might be good to do. Is that it? Let's send reports to ship manufacturers. Huh. 
We do have quite a bit of naval XP. Research bonus. Eh, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Do you want? I do want more war support, but eh, I need political power right now for more important needs. Are they actually pushing me in? Oh no, but they're not. Good. They are a little hard to kill, though. They are a little hard to kill. Let's see. You guys, you definitely all have to have. You already have artillery. Um. Just make sure you got an engineers at minimum. Yeah, that killed your supply of support equipment, but that's fine. Just hold this side. The other side will move in more than fine. No worries. I mean, they got three divisions. Ooh, riots in the streets. It seems the public has been ignored for too long. Angered by the current situation and unable to take any more violence has erupted. While their demands are fairly moderate, think they're costly. And then railway slowdowns again. God dang it, for the fifth time in Gosplan, Gosplan is reporting that railway slowdowns are still preventing production quotas and deliveries from being filled in a timely manner. Blah, 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 blah. Gosplan? Yes, I know. I have to improve it. And I lost a single manpower because of this, too. Terrible. Casualties, 2,000 versus 17,000. Well, it could be much worse. Could be much, much, much worse. I mean, obviously, we don't have all the equipment that we really do need, but whatever. Just take one guy and go into Tehran. Ooh, construction too, nice. Hmm. Resource efficiency gain. Yeah. Improved machine tools. Thank you very much. Very good, very, very good. We're still trying to attack, but not being very successful at it. Wow. You guys should probably come this way. And encircle that division, take them out, have a good time with them. And Iran is about to capitulate, and we defeated another one of their soldiers. Great. Need more guns, need more artillery, need more support equipment, need more of everything. Let's go ahead and link up with these guys over here. And you know what? If that's the case... Uh, by the time this war is over, can we go to war with the Finns? Not quite. Well, we still got some, still got some time, so I'm going to give it some time. Shaanxi was... Oh, Shaanxi was annexed. Uh, for you guys, this is, these are general traits, so I want to do infantry expert, but I don't think, since this is a general trait... That'll really go down to his individual generals to give him an infantry expert bonus. I'm going to go with ex Aggressive Assaulter. You guys, Winter Specialists, Andre, Winter Specialists. Alright, well, whatever. Ooh, Dispersed Industry, very nice. Um, da -da -dum 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 -bum -bum. 1937. Ooh, Field Hospitals. I love Field Hospitals, but I might not use those. I might use Signal Companies, actually. Uh, we could focus on a navy, but it's not really it's extremely important. I definitely need heavy fighters, though. Alright, guys. You guys can go right on ahead and do whatever you need to do. Just take all the lands. Revolutionize. Oh. Was I not supposed to do... Oh. Can I not do anything else now or something? Or... Question and finish. Sovereignty. Move industry to the Urals. Huh. Huh. Hopefully I can still do revolutionized industry. Yeah, I think I can. I hope I can. Anyways. So I got less factory output, but I get more, I think, better research speed, I think. Look at that. 100 army XP. That's so good. That's, that's just so much better than just training your soldiers. There we go. So I'm going to try to do this in a fashion that's somewhat historical. So I do know that the Soviets wanted to take, like, northern Iran. So we're going to do that. I'm going to end the turn. Uh, I could take this area. Uh, let's see what it looks like. That's not bad. I'll leave southern Iran as a puppet. Liberate the kingdom of... <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to puppet the rest of Iran. There you go. The Iranian communist authorities here. I might give this territory back to Iran sometime. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But we're going to help spread communism everywhere pretty much anyways. Cool, good job, guys. You did a great, amazing job. And let's go go ahead and put everyone over here, which is probably a very, very terrible idea. But let's do it anyways, because we like having fun. And I'm going to add in for now an extra infantry battalion, just so that we get to 20 combat width. And put in some recon companies. You know, eventually I will replace three of those infantry battalions with two artillery pieces. I'm going to remove some of these mountaineers. Uh, recon companies, please, thank you. 18, uh, actually. Just go ahead and add the artillery in now. That'll be easy. That'll be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have a massive deficit of stuff, but I don't really care. 
Cavalry, I'm not really using. It's fine with me, whatever. Ooh, video detection. This would actually be okay to research now since we do want to get better anti-air on the ships that we will be producing. Hmm. Oh, air doctrine. Yeah, we should probably focus on air doctrine quite a bit as well as medium bombers. Uh, let's see. 1937 stuff. Production. Uh, special research division. Recovery rate. ET. Hmm. What do I want to do? Uh, I forget. Which one was the best air doctrine at the moment? I heard strategic destruction is actually pretty good at this point. I never go with strategic destruction. But I never use strategic bombers except to nuke. But it looks like there's some for strategic bombing. Quite a bit for three things for strategic bombing, but four things. Honestly, I really don't care too much which way I go. Hmm, close air support. This the center one's really just for close air support, which I don't ever use very much. Air. Uh, let's get some better tactical bombers. Let's do that since we we're gonna use them anyways. Oh, solidify internal control. Great. Uh, and we'll do this one next just because. Yes, yes, yes. We have four railways. Whatever. And now we get a little bit more political power, which is 1.15 every day. Great. Oh, and Japan declared war on the Chinese. Well, I wonder if I can help support them. Let's stop training for now. And how many divisions could I potentially send to the Chinese? I'm really surprised that the Spanish have not had their civil war. Do they have a focus and not have a civil war or something? Hmm. Anyways. Let's send a couple divisions, not from the coast, from you guys probably. Three, four, f actually not from you guys. I want to send one, two, three, four, and get one of those guys. Cool. Why am I sending these guys? Because there's going to be a lot of hills in China. A ton of hills. Oh, actually, get Vasily Chuikov. He's a pretty good attacker. Uh, I could help this Chinese Soviet Republic. They're not at war, though. Um, send volunteers. Any way we can help destroy the Japanese influence that's close to us, the better. Cool. Wait. Proceed to protesters' demands. Remove spirit civil un... Oh, civil unrest. Internal chaos, yes. Industry slowed down. Civil unrest. Chance to sabotage constructions and surrender limit. Um. Dang it. I really want to go to war economy. God dang it. Ah, oh, so be it. Just help them out, I guess. Marco Polo Bridge incident, whatever. And the Chinese have not yet lost Beijing, but they probably will soon. Uh, at least we get more political power. Yunnan joins the Chinese United Front. So does Senkiang, Zaibi San Ma. And we're going to wait for... Oh, riders apiece. Although the cost was high, now that the potholes in our city streets are filled and the social programs have shown a bit of improvement, the people are happy enough to end the organized riots. Some are still complaining, but most are satisfied. Well, at least that's good. Capital still has some uses. Well, at least we got rid of some of the protesters. Ooh. Actually, I'm sending China some volunteers, but I'm going to invade Finland next. Oh, oh, god dang it. Oh, it's already 26% world tension. God dang it. Japan. I mean, France. France. Why? Well, if we're going to do that, then I'm going to make sure that the French, as well as the British, guarantee pretty much everyone and everything. So they're going to pay dearly for this. But at least we can send some volunteers to China. We can get a lot more army XP, actually. Uh, let's see. These guys suck. I'm not going to use you. Especially you... Because they both have politically connected, even though he's an inflexible strategist, strategist and career officer. Only people who have more opportunities. Philip Golikov. Uh, reconnaissance. Details. Reconnaissance is... He's a trickster. Now let's do this guy. I want you to be good on the defensive max entrenchment. Uh, attacking... Defending usually is pretty okay. Let's go with the offensive doctrine. For here, I want you to defend up here. Because it doesn't look like the Chinese are really ready for anything over here. Oh, it looks, oh the communist Chinese, I guess, went to war as well. Hmm. Looks like Beijing has quite a bit of attrition. And, of course, then, then they have a civil war in August of 1937. That's the latest I've pretty much probably 
ever seen this. I'll try to help out Republic and Spain as best I can. I can only send them five more divisions, but we'll see what happens. Actually, I'll take you out. Oh, no, but these... I don't have... I'm not making any more... Hmm. I'm not making any more light tanks. Yeah, just send infantry in, it, in or something. Yeah, this is too many divisions up here. Uh, Actually, just send you out. For now. Send you... Hmm. Doesn't matter who you're under. For you guys, I don't know if you have anything over there. Come on down, back down to here. For the rest of you guys, you should not suffer too much attrition. And from here, I'm going to take five more guys, since our tank divisions are still going to be in the process of reorganizing. Ah, it's 1.7 thousand extra light tanks. That's not bad. I'm going to send a, a, a different group, though. First of all, let's get rid of you. And we'll get rid of one other light tank division, since I'm not going to plan on having too many of you guys anyways. We can send in one more. I'll add you into this. Cool. So, Constantine, you're going to help out the Republicans. There you are. Cool. All right, and the Republican Spain has accepted. We are d going to help out the, both the Chinese. Oh, baby, these guys are not doing well. Oh, that was a bad idea to do that. Oh, they are getting pushed back, but they're doing okay now. Awesome, we've helped stop that for now. And we are helping out the Spanish when they get down there, even though it looks like the Republican Spanish are not doing well themselves. Ooh, that is not... Good. Either way, though, uh, we're pretty much done here for this episode, and I gotta make sure that we're not actually building up a lot of infrastructure to begin with. Do that, do that, do that, and then do that as well. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe or leave a like or something along those lines. Yes, I'm gonna try to play as historically as I can, but by the time I get to Republican Spain, it looks like they're gonna be destroyed, anyways. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.